All right. Good morning, everybody. I have a small haul that I got um, this past weekend when I went out um, shopping with my mom. And I got a few items at a Salvation Army that was probably about an hour and a half away. Um, we drove up to the city to check out some other thrifting and antique locations. Um, so here's a small haul and what I have here This is a Lefton nest egg collection mallard duck. Uh, the date on it's 1985. And this one I'll probably either put up on eBay or I'm planning to have a local garage sale, but I don't know, probably somewhere between eight to ten dollars on eBay. And that's not a chip right there, that's just paint that's missing on the top. Okay, and then I've found these three vintage iron ons. They're new method, they're embroidered. Pretty cool. Has the instructions on how to do it. I don't know, these look like they're probably from the 70s. I don't know. Very cool. Three of them, different different patterns here. It's interesting they have the original price on the cardboard backer for $1.25, but then a couple of them have, I think that's a 66 cent sticker. Uh, fun. But some um, nice bright colors. Could be fun to Try to put on a vintage shirt. Works like magic. Floral Western Nautical City Landmarks and Novelty Designs. Check her out with her little bangles. <laughs> okay. Then I have this baggy of ceramic dogs. Uh, looks like there's four in there. Cocker Spaniel maybe. This looks like oh, not, a, not a Jack Russell but some short, sort of short. Short snouted terrier there. Oh, three, three are in there. And the copper, copper spaniel has a newspaper in his mouth too. This might be a little Jack Russell. Um, but I'll get those out of the bag, check them out. And looks like I paid three dollars for those. Oh yeah. And then I got this pottery piece. This is probably more modern. Um, probably should have left it there. But I liked the colors. I like the glaze on it. I paid $2 for it. It has a little handle. I don't see any chips. Um, but it has like some brown speckle. Kind of reminds me of um, Otagiri a little bit, but... I know it's probably not Otagiri. I need to look all these things up and get prices. But this will probably sell anywhere between 
I don't know, eight to twelve dollars. Again, I'll probably try them on eBay, and then if they don't sell on eBay, then I'll do um, my little local garage sale. And then these guys, I didn't say price on these, but um, I'll have to look them up depending on what they are, how old they are, what kind of breed of dog they are. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I can get 7 to 10 12 dollars for these smaller ones. It just depends on if I can find the maker and the breed of dog. And then the iron-ons, um, I don't know. I might lot them up or sell them individually. Maybe four dollars a piece or twelve to fifteen for all three of them. Not sure. I'll have to again look those up. That's my pup Mia in the background if you can hear. And then I've got um this is really cool. This is a Deadwood, South Dakota souvenir flag. It's rough. Um, it feels like paper. Um, but it has a little opening here, so it was probably originally uh, mounted on a stick. Um, there's a hole here where somebody probably hung it up. with a thumbtack and there's some discoloration there probably from a piece of tape but it's Mount Rushmore neon color so it probably does glow I'll have to check that out and then the end of it is also <laughs> mangled not in great condition. Um, I did, there was a sticker on this. I did pay a dollar for it. And it did come with this pin attached. The pin is definitely more current than the flag, banner flag. It does have the original price tag. <laughs> no store name or anything, but it's 29 cents. Very cool. For a dollar, I couldn't leave that behind. Figured somebody's gonna like this. I liked it. <laughs> okay, and then I did buy these. Um, they're called Matchbox Musicals, and I didn't realize it when I bought them. I just liked them. I thought they were really neat. They were in the original box. They're obviously older. But they are definitely Mr. Christmas. Um, this one says 2004 Mr. Christmas Inc. So, um, Mr. Christmas Memphis, Tennessee and Mr. C Christmas Limited Hong Kong. So, I paid $2 um, a piece. They do work. I'm going to have to check them out.
um, but I will have to check those out, make sure that um, I don't have anything, any uh, broken pieces or missing pieces on them, but um, you know, there is some, somewhere they are, um, you know, older pieces that somebody obviously used and enjoyed. They're fun. Um, so I have the Oak Christmas tree. Jingle bells. And we wish you a Merry Christmas. Hmm. So I might, um, I think when I looked these up, they were selling for about $28 a piece. But I'll look them up. Um, they're probably a little bit different based on each song and um, this one looks like it's also from 2004. Matchbox Melodies, that's what they're called. And then the last piece I have... is this... Santa, pull this out, this just came, I thought, I thought it was cute, little pick, Christmas pick, more modern, but this is a planter, Christmas planter with Santa and his little bag of toys and presents, it's got a little teddy bear in there, it is dirty, so I will um, get that cleaned out, and <clears throat> Try to keep all the paint intact. I don't see any chips or cracks on this. Really cute. And it does have, again, I paid $2 for that. And it does have the original price tag. $4.25 and then the sticker so I'm not sure if that's Lefton or Napco I'll have to take a look at that it looks like this stamp underneath maybe says Nesco okay so I'll try to um, get that original price tag apart from that Inesco tag, if I can, without doing too much damage. But I do like to keep the, um, the original tags intact with the item if I can. Um, but he's cute, Santa's cute. And um, this one, I might sit on this one a little bit, um, maybe closer to fall time. I don't know, I'll have to look up the price. Hopefully $25, it might go a little bit higher, but we'll see. Um, and if somebody wants to pick, I'll sell the pick with it. All right. Um, we did get some other items. This was just the first stop that we made. Um, so I'll definitely be taking a look to see what else I can pull out for another haul. But thanks for taking a look and have a good one.